Good morning class, it's so nice to see everybody today. We're gonna to be learning about graphing slope intercept. I'm really excited to teach you this today. I can also put any other resources like my notes on my laptop screen. I love dual displays. Locate our point on the graph, which is one on the y-intercept, and we'll mark it. And then let's use our ruler to graph the next spot. Now I want everyone to check to see if you got the same slope that I just graphed. And then let's check it on Desmos. So this is what your slope should look like. I love the My Viewboard software because it works so great with my touch monitor. You can see I'm using digital tools, even my document camera. You can see here that the y-intercept is five, so go ahead and mark five on your graph. All right, let's get to learning. So I want everyone to watch, just like you see in Desmos, I'm gonna graph my line here, and you'll notice that they match. So you're gonna use Desmos to check your graphs. Let me know in the chat if anyone has questions. I see here, Lily, you're asking about why do we put the y-intercept on one? Let me explain that really quickly. Teaching remotely, doesn't have to be overwhelming. Sometimes I even teach from a coffee shop. Having a second monitor doesn't have to be stressful, so let's get out my ViewSonic pen display. It's super portable and easy to connect. Writing with the pen display feels just like writing on paper, and I love using the MyViewBoard whiteboard software for annotation. The 13-point-inch screen is plenty big. There's no calibration required, and it's so easy to work with interactive websites. Here I'm teaching virtually by sharing my screen. Dual display is my favorite as I can keep my current content and annotations on the pen pad while using my laptop screen to monitor my virtual meeting. Working with digital content can be challenging unless you have a device that easily lets you annotate. The ViewSonic VB pen pad is a physical notepad that also connects to your computer, providing easy annotation with the stylus. Whatever you write on the paper happens digitally on your computer. Here, the teacher has the pen pad connected to their desktop via USB, which in turn is connected to the classroom projector. Even though his desktop is not touch, the pen pad allows him to write and interact with all of his content inside my ViewBoard whiteboard software. 